In this week, we'll learn numerical methods for solving ordinary differential equations. I want to start with the most uh, basic method, and then we'll build on that to get more accurate methods. So the most basic method is called Euler method. Uh, we're going to solve a differential equation, x dot, or dx dt, is some function of t and x, so this function is given. And a first order equation needs an initial condition, so we're going to assume that x at an initial time, t naught, is equal to x naught. We want, to, we want to find x as a function of time for t greater than t naught. To see how the Euler method works, it's easiest to draw a graph. So we can draw our solution. So say this is t and this is x. Um, we know the initial condition, so we know that at uh, t naught, the function takes the value of x naught. I can put it here, x naught. So we know this point on the graph from the initial condition. The goal of the numerical method is to march this solution forward in time from its initial value. To do that, we need to make use of the differential equation. So the differential equation tells us dx dt is, um, uh, is this function here of valuated at t equals t naught and x equals x naught. dx dt is the slope of the tangent line to the solution curve. So I can draw that. So let's say x dot is positive. So the tangent line to the solution curve can look like that. And the slope here is equal to f evaluated at t naught and x naught. So the solution is following this line, okay? At least for small uh, uh, delta t, if we're imp incrementing by delta t, the solution is following along this line. So let's go to the next point. Let's say that this is t1, and t1 then is going to be t naught plus delta t, delta t is considered small. Then we're saying that our solution uh, curve is tangent to here, so we're just going to assume it's uh, linear here, and we get to this value here. So following the, uh, the tangent line, and this value here we'll call x1, okay? So we can write down the formula for that. So x1 is equal to x naught plus delta x over delta t times delta t. So it's delta t times the derivative, which will be f of t naught x naught. Okay? That says we march along the tangent line. Okay, and then we go to the next value. So here we have, uh, basically we start all over again. So we have a uh, new initial condition. We have x of t1 equals x1, and we repeat the uh, marching. So now we calculate the, the uh, slope of the tangent line here. Let's say x dot is slightly decreasing, and we draw a slope that looks like this. Then we march forward along the tangent line to a time t2. t2 is t1 plus delta t. And uh, marching along the tangent line will get us here. And then that value is slightly higher here. That will be our x2. So x2 is equal to x1 plus delta t. And then the value of f, the slope here, of this line, will be f of t1, x1. Both values, t1 and x1, are known. So this will be f of t1, x1. And then we keep going, right? So the general formula for Euler's method 
would be x at the n plus 1 time step is equal to x at the n time step plus delta t times f of t sub n x sub n. That's Euler's method. Okay, that's our kind of basic method, our basic understanding of what we're doing, right? We're marching along and getting a solution that looks like this, you know, connecting the dots. Um, there's some error in this method, right? You can see what the error is. Uh, here, we're taking the value of the slope at um, t naught, x naught, right? But the slope actually changes along this line segment. So we're just as taking the value at the initial point and not considering that it might change along this line segment. Uh, because we do it that, that way, this method is not considered uh, very accurate. It's called a first order method. Um, but we can, so we can do better and we will do better. One way of doing better is instead of uh, just taking the slope at the leftmost point here, we can sample the slope at other places on the curve. Uh, when we start doing it that way, we can develop what's called runge cutter methods. And that's where we're headed, to more accurate uh, differential equation solvers using uh, runge cutter methods. Okay, uh, let's get to that in the next video. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.